Hey guys, this week on When You Need Them, Ask Needham, we're gonna talk about browser password managers. Are they good? Are they bad? I'm not sure. We'll check it out real soon. See you then. Hey guys, welcome to the week of When You Need Them, Ask Needham. Today we're gonna to talk about browser password managers and the pros and cons. We're gonna look at Chrome, we got Firefox, we're gonna look at Safari, and we'll also take a look at Edge. Now we're not gonna get into the exact details of each password manager, but kind of overall the pros and cons of them versus a traditional like third-party password manager, like a Dashlane or a OnePass or a RoboForm. So let's, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing about browser password managers that kind of passes the, the, the pro list in, in my realm is we're gonna look at the synchronization function. If you travel a lot, you got a mobile device, I got a, a mobile phone, I've got a tablet, I've got a PC, and, and I've got them all synchronized. Synchronized. And so I want to make sure that when I'm out and about that I've got, you know, my passwords readily available when I have them. And so most browser password managers will allow you to sync. Now you'll have to have that browser on all your devices though. And so if you've got an, an Apple device, then you've got Safari on your, on your MacBook or your Mac, or you've got on your iPhone and your iPad, and those passwords will sync with that. If you've got a Chrome, if you're using you know, Chrome as your browser, then you've got your Gmail account, synchronizing all that and keeping those in sync with you as well. Edge is based on your Microsoft account. Again, you have to have the Edge browser on, on your mobile devices. And so that's gonna keep kind of your passwords in sync. So when you're on the go, you need access to your bank account or maybe even your email account on another website, you're good to go. They're all right there for you. The second pro to this is it's somewhat secure. And I say somewhat secure is the passwords are not stored unencrypted. They're typically stored on, in a keychain and you have to, like with a Mac, they're stored in the keychain and, and using in Chrome, they're stored hash based on the login password of the, the user account. The great part about that is it's always there and available for you when you're logged into your computer. So the third thing that you have is pretty much is it's a password manager. I mean, at least you don't have your password sticking on a sticky note or in a notebook or an Excel file and you've got some sort of security in place to keep your password secure. So, you know, those are the pros. Now let's look at the cons of having the browser-based password manager. Okay, so the number one con that we have about a, a browser password manager is that after a certain amount of time, the passwords are not re-secured. Once you're logged into that PC, those passwords are typically open all the time. Meaning that if you're using Chrome and you want to log into your banking website, you just have to go to your banking website and then that password is available to you. With most password managers, after a certain amount of time, it will lock you out. If you walk away from your computer for a certain amount of time, come back, then it's locked again and you have to re-log back into your password manager to get access. So th the biggest thing in these password managers is really no way to set a timeout on when the passwords get re kind of encrypted so you can't access them anymore. The number two thing is that a lot of these, I don't know that I really know of one that actually supports two-factor authentication. And so the syncing functionality of this is really important because you don't want a hacker to get access to your Gmail account and then now have access to your passwords in their system. So a lot of third-party applications support two-factor authentication inside the application itself to then make sure that in order for you to get the sync, you have to provide the second factor of authentication. Now, if you're implementing that within your Google account, then when you log into Chrome, you're gonna to have to implement two-factor authentication and that will work, so that will support that. But the other portion of a lot of good password managers that will actually manage your two-factor authentication tokens as well. And so if you have a 2FA site that needs that six-digit number, applications like OnePass could actually have that two-factor authentication with the password there with you as well. So again, making it a little easier for you to log into. So the third thing, and this is really, really relevant to any password manager. So if you take a look and you put in your password, any password manager, and you put in, you know, you autofill your password and you see those little dots at the bottom, once those dots go into the password field, the password's no longer secure. Now, when you hit submit, it's gonna be sent secure, but understand those hashes are only protected by a form value field. Um, if you go into the console, and I'll show you this here, if you go into the console of the, the system and you change the text value or the, the form field value from password to text, then it will reveal the password for you to show you what it is. Now again, this is we're, we're talking about somebody having access to your computer, uh, physical access to your computer, even remote access to your computer to make these changes to get this. It is possible. I just want you to be aware of the potential security risk that you have when using any sort of password manager out there. And again, it's you just have to be aware of what's happening out there. 
Hey guys, so that sums up another week of when you need them, ask need them. This week we talked about browser password manager and the pros and cons. Again, any sort of password manager that you have is better than nothing. Uh, and we wanna make sure that you're just being safe out there. And that's our biggest concern. Uh, if you need help with this, uh, reach out to us online at www.katoritechnologies.com. Guys, we'll see you next time and be safe out there.